What's going on everyone? This is Luke from Southview Sports and welcome back to another video. Before I get into the content of today's video, I first want to apologize for the audio. The audio in my videos, uh, or for the next few videos I should say, will be a little weird. I left my microphone at home and I will not be able to uh, regain access to that microphone for the next two to three weeks, so bear with me on that. But we have some breaking news for today. Uh, it's some very unfortunate breaking news at that. Bam Adebayo suffered a torn ulnar collateral ligament injury in his right thumb during Monday's game against the Denver Nuggets, and he will undergo surgery this weekend. The timetable for this injury is unknown at this point. We'll know more about it come this weekend when Bam completes his surgery, but the average timetable for a torn UCL injury is around five to six weeks. Chris Paul dealt with an injury like this in the past, and he missed five and a half weeks, so that's something to keep in mind. Uh, one silver lining about all this is that it will provide a lengthy rest period for Bam. He's been dealing with that lingering knee, uh, I want to say injury more so of an issue, uh, some knee tendonitis, which uh, the only way to heal this really is with rest and Bam will definitely get a lot of rest in the upcoming weeks. But what will the Heat look like without Bam? Bam is a foundational clog of the Heat's offense and more importantly the defense. He is what holds that top five defense together. Uh, you should expect to see Dwayne Dedman uh, plug in as the new starting center for the foreseeable future. Dedman is more of a prototypical big man, uh, big man rather than Bam, who is very versatile. We should expect to see a lot more drop, less switch, uh, and we won't see the dribble handoff packages that we often see with Bam Adebayo. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, one thing that I think we'll see more of is some PJ Tucker minutes at the five. That's something that we have not seen yet this season, but from what we saw previous in previous seasons with Tucker, he definitely has the ability to play the five in short bursts. Uh, we'll definitely see more Omer Yurtsevin, who has only received spot minutes this season, but with the injury to Bam, I definitely think we'll see more of him. And we could see more Udonis Haslam minutes. It feels crazy to say that. Haslam is the oldest player in the league but I do think he still could serve a purpose in spot minutes off the bench. I don't think, however, that the Heat will go out and acquire a big man. I think they feel confident enough with the options that they have in-house. Uh, we'll see someone like Markeith Morris play more uh, than he was playing before he suffered his whiplash injury, but Mark Morris should return to the lineup soon, and I think he will play some key minutes, possibly as a small ball five moving forward. Uh, we even could see more Casey Akpala minutes, uh, the Heat tried experimenting with Casey Akpala in that five role a little bit uh, a few games ago, and it actually worked out fairly well, so we could see him play uh, some minutes there. But yeah, that's going to be it for today's video, guys. I just wanted to make a short breaking news video about a very unfortunate injury suffered by Bam. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below your thoughts on the Bam out of bio injury, and if you think it will have a large effect on the Heat's season moving forward. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching. I will catch you later. Peace.